Hi guys, it's Hannah from Trek It and I'm out on a very bitter day at the base of Hay Bluff uh, with Harry and we're out filming uh, to tell you all about the new and updated Arcteryx Atom AR hoodie. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through uh, what it's actually used for, what it's made of, all the really cool features, how it fits and why we think it's just so cool. Uh, so stay tuned to the end of the video to learn all about the Arcteryx Atom AR. Okay guys, just before we get on with the rest of the video, if you hit that shiny subscribe button and then hit the little bell icon, you'll get a notification every time we post a video. The Arcteryx Atom AR is the warmest jacket in the Atom range, uh, so it suits a plethora of cold mountain activities uh, and can be used in lots of different layering options. So it's really warm, really breathable and very weather resistant, making it one of the perfect jackets for mountain activities. And for this season, for Autumn Winter 2020, the Atom AR has had a few updates to just make it even better. So the updated Atom AR, much like the previous version, uses Corloft synthetic insulation. Now Corloft is a highly crimped, multi-denier, siliconized polyester yarn. Now uh, polyester is highly breathable, weather resistant and um, re retains its ability to keep you warm even when wet. And that siliconized coating just helps that. So that just um, stops the yarn's ability to hold onto moisture. So it dries really quickly when it gets wet. So in the Atom AR, Arcteryx have taken a zoned approach to the insulation. So they use 100 grams per square meter in the body, 80 grams per square meter in the arms, and 60 grams per square meter in the hood. Now what that does is that maximizes the uh, insulation where you need it, um, but reduces the bulk of the jacket. So the outer fabric on the AR has also been updated for Autumn Winter 2020, and it now uses Arcteryx's own Tayono 30 Denier 100% nylon fabric. Now it's really tough, very lightweight, and a very packable uh, material, so you can stuff it down into your backpack. Uh, and then that jacket is given a DWR coating, so that's a durable water repellent coating, which helps uh, any moisture, <laughs> moisture in the air to beat up on the jacket and run off. Now, uh, please just note that that does not make the uh, Atom AR 100% waterproof at all. Um, you will still need a shell jacket if you are heading out all day uh, because, <laughs> as we've shown today, the conditions are predictably unpredictable. But actually, uh, in, our, uh, in all of our use of this jacket over the year, we've come to find that it does actually take quite a lot to get wet inside this jacket. But still, it's good just to take a shell. So the material on the inside of this jacket has also been updated for the 2020 winter season, and it now uses a Dope Permia 20 uh, Denier nylon fabric on the inside. Now that uh, Dope per um, Permia is highly breathable. It's actually the one that we see across the Proton range, <coughs> which is renowned for being a very breathable, breathable jacket. So you now get this in the Atom AR to increase the breathability. Now the dope in dope permier is, does not mean like dope. <laughs> it actually refers to the dope dyeing process that the fabric goes through. And what that means is that the fabric is dyed right at the beginning, right when it's a yarn. So it's dyed in the yarn stage rather than after it's been woven. Now what that means is the process actually uses a lot less water and a lot less chemicals to dye it. So you end up with a much more environmentally friendly fabric. Okay, so let's break down the features. As usual, we will start from the top and work our way down. So the hood is fully insulated and adjustable and is designed to fit over the top of a climbing helmet. This season as well also features a more reinforced peak. So before it didn't really have anything at all. Now it's got a bit of a reinforcement just to help keep the light rain out of your eyes, but also gives a bit more shape to the front of the hood. 
Moving down, you get two very generously sized hand warmer pockets in the front of the jacket uh, and also an internal zipped security pocket that is big enough to take your phone. Uh, in the front of the jacket, and honestly this is one of my favourite, favourite updates on the AR, you get a full length no slip zip. Now basically what that means uh, is that it, this, the zip in the front has these little speed bumps. Now in previous models, if you didn't have the zip zipped all the way to the top, eventually as you were walking, the zip would work its way undone and it was a really irritating feature. So now they've put in these little speed bumps in the top of the jacket, just so that you can have your zip unzipped a little bit for like an extra bit of ventilation if you're getting too warm. And that doesn't mean that the zip is going to unzip all the way to the bottom. So it just stays put a bit. Now moving on to the cuffs, the cuffs of the AR are gorgeously designed. I really love them. It's a very similar to design to what they've always been. So they're very stretchy. Um, so you can see at the moment I have them pulled over the top of my gloves. But if I was wearing uh, chunkier mountaineering, like winter mountaineering gloves, they fit really nicely underneath them as well. Um, and also if you're wearing no gloves, they sit snug to your wrist. They're just really neat and just help to keep any cold air out. And then moving on to the bottom, you have a draw cord that you can just cinch and that goes all the way around the jacket. You can just cinch that in and that will just help protect your lower back from any cold updrafts. So I'm five foot one, I weigh roughly 50 kilos and I'm wearing a size eight or an extra small. Now the Atom AR has had a fit update for the autumn winter 2020 season. So previous models were a bit boxy and this season it sits a little bit closer, but it still fits into Architerix's regular fit. So I have a base layer and an iridium fleece on underneath that, uh, underneath this. But if I wanted to, I could wear a chunkier fleece underneath this as well. Uh, and there would definitely still be room. The regular fit still sits pretty snug to your body just to maximize the insulation. Um, but yeah, you can still get a couple of layers under there quite comfortably. So the Atom AR is predominantly designed as an outer layer, but if it is absolutely hammering it down, then you can still use it as a mid layer and chuck a shell on an, a, over the top of this. So that's it guys, that is the Arc'teryx Atom AR hoodie. Beautiful, sleek, synthetic jacket, all updated for the winter 2020 season. Really, really cool little additional features there for this season and we really love it. Uh, we've used the Atom AR uh, range for years in Trek It and we just think that they are some of the best synthetic jackets out there. We really do love them. Uh, and if you like this video, then don't forget to hit that little, little like icon at the, <laughs> the bottom of this video. And if you haven't yet, then hit subscribe and hit the little bell icon and you'll get a little notification every time we post a video. Uh, and to shop the Arc'teryx Atom range, then click on the link on the screen. Uh, and we will see you next time, guys. That is it from me. Stay safe. Bye.